Newtonian determinism says that the universe is a clock, a gigantic clock that's wound up at the beginning of time, and it's been ticking ever since according to Newton's laws of motion. So, what you're going to eat 10 years from now, on January 1st, has already been fixed. It's already known using Newton's laws of motion. Einstein believed in that. Einstein was a determinist. Well, does that mean that a murderer, this a horrible mass murderer, isn't really guilty of his works because it was already preordained billions of years ago. And Einstein said, well, yeah, in some sense that's true. Even mass murderers were predetermined, but he said they should still be placed in jail. Heisenberg then comes along and proposes the Heisenberg uncertainty principle and says, nonsense. There's uncertainty. You don't know where the electron is. It could be here, here, or many places simultaneously. This, of course, Einstein hated because he said God doesn't play dice with the universe. Well, hey, get used to it. Einstein was wrong. God does play dice. Every time we look at an electron, it moves. There's uncertainty with regards to the position of the electron. So what does that mean for free will? It means in some sense we do have some kind of free will. No one can determine your future events given your past history. There's always the wild card. There's always the possibility of uncertainty in whatever we do. So when I look at myself in a mirror, I say to myself, what I'm looking at is not really me. It looks like me, but it's not really me at all. It's not me today, now. It's me a billionth of a second ago, because it takes a billionth of a second for light to go from me to the mirror and back. 